Welcome to the weekly announcements at Calvary United Methodist Church. Last week we shared some great news with you from the COVID-19 task force and from the church council. And I hope you're excited about another opportunity to reconnect in person in worship. We are excited to welcome up to 100 people into the Christian Life Center for the 815 worship service on Palm Sunday, March 28th. Now, if you plan to join us in person in the CLC, you will need to sign up each Sunday. There will be a registration link that will be on our website that will go live at noon for the upcoming week. And so the first time you'll be able to worship or be able to register for the worship on March 28th is March 21st. So you can register that afternoon, go in that week, you can sign up, or you can call Bernadette in the church office and she can sign you up for you. The 815 service will continue to be live streamed. And so you can continue to watch that from home as well. You will still be able to watch worship anytime by going to our YouTube channel or by going to our website and click the Worship Anytime button. The 1030 service will continue to be in our north parking lot under the tent. As the weather continues to warm up, the one shift we're going to make at the 1030 service is instead of parking cars in the north parking lot, we will actually park the cars in the front parking lot and we will invite you to bring your lawn chairs and to walk into the north parking lot and to find a circle for you and your family to worship from. We hope it's warm enough on Palm Sunday and Easter for us to do that. And uh, we will let you know as we get closer to time and see what the weather forecast actually is. We will continue in both of our services to wear masks, follow the CDC guidelines of social distancing, and doing all the things that we can do to keep everyone safe as we come back together again. We're also excited that our youth group will return on March 21st, along with confirmation. Confirmation usually happens in the fall semester, and we've had to move it to the spring semester, so we are excited to get confirmation rolling here in 2021. The children and youth handbell groups will begin on March 21st as well. So see Melissa or Kaylin if you have any, if you want any more information about children and youth handbells. Children's worship will return on March 28th as we gather for that 815 service, and it will be held in Master's Common. Pastor Stephanie is now working with all of our small groups to reserve meeting space beginning on March 28th. Small groups will be allowed to meet in the Fellowship Hall, the Chapel, Master's Common, or the CLC. These spaces have access to outside air and are also, we added ionizers to them, so they're much safer environments for us to meet in in this in-between season until we get most of our population vaccinated. On Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, we will be able to welcome up to 100 people into the Christian Life Center. Those services will be at 6.30 p.m., and they will also be live streamed. So you can join us live in person or you can join us online as we celebrate Monday, Thursday and Good Friday together. You'll register for those services online or by calling Bernadette in the church office. And on Easter Sunday, we are excited to have three worship services. We'll have a sunrise service at 6.15 a.m. in the grass next to the Columbarium. The 8.15 service will be live streamed and in person in the CLC, up to 100 folks. And then the 10.30 service will be out in the North Parking Line, hopefully with us in chairs, all together again. We also will have an Easter egg hunt on Easter Sunday. To register for that, email Tiffany at tiffany at calvaryumc.com. Now, if you've not had an opportunity to stop by the church and place your prayers on our prayer wall, you are invited to bring your prayers, come and unite them with all in our church and in our community. We invite you to return to the wall over and over again throughout this season of Lent, adding your prayers to the prayer wall. This week, the prayer wall will remain in the columbarium, and so you can go there and unite your prayers with others. Calvary's annual church retreat to Bursaba Springs is returning on April 23rd to April 25th. Now, it won't look the same, and there's going to be some things that have changed, um, basically because of limitations to the dining hall, but we are excited to offer two 24-hour retreat options for you and your family. You can join us from Friday afternoon to noon on Saturday, or you can join us from Saturday afternoon to noon on Sunday. The retreats will be identical and will enable us to host more families throughout the weekend. You can now sign up for the church retreat by going to calvaryumc.com, 
front slash church dash retreat. You can go there and sign up now. The Hilltoppers are back. Our next session is coming up on Thursday, March 18th at 11 o'clock a.m. Mike Smith will be leading a session talking about Linton and Easter sketches. And Mike is the one who's always sketching all of our worship services and putting those sermon sketches online. If you'd like to purchase Easter flowers in honor or memory of someone, you can do that by filling out the form in From Our Hill and sending it in to the church office. You can also contact Bernadette at admin at calvaryumc.com for more information. You know, we are a people of prayer, so we are asking you to pray for several things this week. We are now passing the one-year mark of COVID-19. We are now passing the one-year mark that this has interrupted us and changed our lives forever. We have now lost over 500,000 Americans. This past year has been tremendously hard on all of us. And so we ask you to pray for each other. Especially pray for our healthcare workers who day in and day out continue to work in this really tricky environment. This week I also invite you to pray for all those who will be traveling for spring break. It's spring break in Davidson County, Williamson County, in most of the schools in this area. And so we pray for safe travels for families. Pray for all those who are in the hospital recovering from surgery. Pray for all those who are facing chemo and other medical treatments. Pray for all of our prayer concerns that you find listed in From Our Hill. Pray for each other as we move through this holy season of Lent. I also wanted to let you know that Laura and I will be gone next week for spring break. We'll be leaving on March 13th and we'll be returning home on March the 20th. If you need pastoral care next week, call the church office. Don't forget to set your clocks forward this weekend or you'll be late to worship. I hope you'll join us for our 815 live stream or at 1030 in the parking lot. Pastor Stephanie will be preaching and this week's theme is again and again, God loves first. Have a good weekend. Have a good spring break. Take care. See you next week. Bye.